I do have a, a small testimony. This testimony is when I was small. I was uh, small in the school. On the school days, I participated in a long jump. You know, when you are children, you are interested in athletics. You are interested in spo sports. You are interested in soccer and all those things. So it was long jump and I was not getting prizes for anything. So uh, I do and I don't have that capacity to win anything because those who are with me, they're always winning. So it was the long jump. I participated in the long jump. I tried once and those who were with me, they have already jumped far ahead. So we have three chances. So I used the first chance. I was far behind. The second chance, and before the third chance, I just prayed to Jesus. Jesus, please don't humiliate me. Help me. I want to win one small game. Please help me. So, you know, when you go for the long jump, you have to, you start from long. You, you, you first run. Then after you run, behind there's a line. You should not touch that line. You have to start jumping behind the line and you have to clear it. So I just told Jesus, help me. And I started to call inside me, very loud voice, Jesus, 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 Jesus. So then I hear a voice in my ears. When you are in the air, push yourself ahead. In the air, you have to take a push ahead. That means you can leap in the air. I did not know that. So I came running, calling inside me. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Then behind the line, I just jumped and I was in the air. I took a leap. Then I scored far ahead and I got first prize. First time in my life, I got a prize for long jump. Even today, I remember it. It's a small thing. Today, it is nothing. But that day as a small boy, it matters a lot. Then I came to know the name of Jesus has unlimited power. It can be an interview you go to attend. If you just repeat the holy name of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus inside, he comes inside. He comes be beside you. He helps you. You are going for an exam. You want to get the answer. You want the people to ask the question you have learned. All these things happen in the holy name of Jesus because the name of Jesus itself is so powerful. It, it, it removes fear from you. It brings confidence. It brings power inside you. See, what happened is in the life of, uh, it is uh, of uh, uh, David and Goliath. What is happening that when he is such a powerful king, Goliath is such a powerful king, Nobody can just defeat him all of a sudden. That is why here King David is using, he's telling, I don't have my own power, but I have power. I do believe in the power in the name of God. And he is going using the name of Jesus, using the name of God. And he defeats the evil one. He declared, "Me, my power does not belong to me. My power belongs to the name of Jesus. And it is important that even the apostles, they all uh, performed miracles in this name. Let us look at this word of God. It is in the Acts of the Apostles. Acts of the Apostles, it is chapter 4, verses 9 and 10. Acts 4, 9 and 10. Let us look at this word of God on the screen. Because of a good deed done to someone who was sick and asked how this man has been healed, let it be known to all of you and to all the people of Israel that this man is standing before you in good health by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. While I was in Kenya in Tika, of course also in prayer house in Lovington, most of the miracles happened when we expose the Brasa Sacrament and we tell the people to call out the holy name of Jesus repeatedly and loudly. 
and when jesus is crying when people are crying jesus 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 forgetting themselves and getting out of themselves i have seen in my own eyes the lame walking the blind seeing the deaf hearing the dumb speaking i have seen so many miracles because this is that the name that is a name above all names the name that brought salvation the name that is revealed by the father the name that brought salvation to us and acts actually chapter 4 verse 12 if we go see this is the way the apostles declared there is salvation in no one else for there is no other name under heaven given among mortals by which we must be saved there is no other name only one name that is the name of jesus that's why every time when we had this retreat we had always put a name a beautiful song called no other name but the name of jesus so this name has unlimited power i do remember an incident in prayer house in lovington that took place while we were conducting a retreat it was a religious nun while we were asking people to call out the name of jesus 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 she was also calling out the name of jesus and she had a lump in the stomach and she was healed of this lump big lump and uh, during the testimony this sister came on to the stage and she started to say initially i was ashamed or i was afraid i was thinking why do we shout and scream the name of jesus is he deaf why can't he hear but when i saw that everybody was kneeling down lifting the hands closing their eyes and calling out and shouting the name of jesus jesus i thought me i'm a religious consecrated person if the ordinary lay people are so much zealous in calling the name of jesus how much more i have to call the name of jesus because she could see some engineers lawyers even some people whom she knows very noble people having no shame having no fear they are screaming loudly jesus she said she came to the prayer house because she had a big huge lump in the stomach she could not even eat properly the doctor said the lump has grown to such an extent even the operation the surgery is so risky that's the time she started to scream and she said while she was screaming the name of jesus she could find a powerful force as if a hand entering into her stomach and removing that lump and she felt the immediate feeling was hungry hunger because she she was not hungry she, she cannot eat because her stomach was always full we always supply four pieces of bread and a cup of tea at prayer house for those who attend the service because our services are from morning to evening she said every time she could only take just two pieces of bread and then she her stomach gets full but after that she felt hungry and she could take eight pieces of bread and she took two cups of tea that specific day because of the healing because the testimony was after the lunch break sisters and brothers this is the power in the name of jesus and she said when i called the name of jesus closing my eyes and coming out of myself without any fear she found even when people have stopped calling she continued because she was closing her eyes she did not know what's going on going around and she received the healing this is same like the woman who had bleeding for more than 12 years what happened even when so many people were around she was not ashamed or afraid she just came with that strong faith and touched the fringe of the cloth of jesus and she was healed i just want to tell you that there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus again in the acts of the apostles chapter 16 verse 18 we read that she kept doing for many days see even those who were being attacked by evil spirits those who have been possessed by demons how they can be saved she kept doing this for many days see while she followed paul there was a girl who, who was been used for fortune telling because she was attacked by demon and she kept doing this for many days but paul very much annoyed turned and said to the spirit i order you in the name of jesus christ to come out of her and it came out that very hour in the name of jesus christ sisters and brothers in Tika, while we were conducting our initial retreats in Kenya, there were so many cases who have been possessed by demons who used to come from different parts of the country. Those who had all these kinds of issues, sleeplessness, 
fearful uh, dreams, nightmares, somebody's coming and choking them, somebody is doing sexual relations with them. There are so many complicated possessive issues used to come for the retreat, for the residential retreat center and many who start screaming and manifesting in the night, blocking everyone to sleep. Then that the prayer, that's the time we don't know how to pray, we don't know how to do deliverance. But one prayer that we came to know is so effective, so powerful. All our intercessors and team members come together and we repeatedly call the name of Jesus, 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 Jesus. And immediately we could find there is deliverance taking place. Because at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. See, it is God's word. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. It is God's word. See, therefore the God so highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name so that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth. I do remember one day I was driving over speed. So the police caught me. Now I'm going for a retreat. I was late. That's why I was going very fast. Now this man, he does not believe in God. I can see his name. He's not even a Christian. So, and I was in my priest dress. So when I, I he caught me and he, uh, he told me to stop and he, he wanted to charge a case. And I just told him, sir, please uh, forgive me. I'm a priest. I'm going for a holy mass. Then he said, if you are a priest, what do I have to do? You have to keep the rule. You are a priest means you don't, you don't have any rules. I said, no, sir, today, uh, because I was late, I was coming. Uh, uh, I was just going fast. He said, you are a priest. You are a leader. You have to set example. You cannot break rules. You are the first one should keep the time. Who told you to come late? Why you are late? Because you started late just started to argue with me. I said, please, sir, it is already I'm late. Please forgive me and release me. He said, no, no, it's my duty. It's my obligation to keep you here. I came to know I cannot overcome him with my arguments, with the dialogue, because he's already, he's so angry with me. So I don't know what to do. Then I immediately start to speak inside Jesus, my Jesus. Help me, Jesus, help me, Jesus, help me, Jesus. Inside I'm saying, Jesus, help me, Jesus, help me, Jesus, 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 sisters and brothers. Because nothing can succeed. But when I started to say, Jesus, 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 he's just telling me, please go soon. Please leave this place. Please go soon. He did not charge. He did not say. He's just releasing me. See? At the name of Jesus, every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth. Even if a person whom you confront is, is not a believer, is a non-Christian, is a demonic person, is a possessed person, when you faithfully, fearfully, sincerely, truthfully repeat and call out the name of Jesus, immediately power is manifested. Immediately God's power is manifested. See, in the name of Jesus, the sick people are healed. In the name of Jesus, battles are won. In the name of Jesus, families are saved. In the name of Jesus, those who are possessed to be delivered. In the name of Jesus, even deliverance and physical healing is, is taking place. When this sick man was brought to Peter, what did Peter say? It is Acts of the Apostles. It is uh, Acts, this is chapter 3, verses 6 and 7. 3, 6 and 7. What he is telling to this man who was at the temple gate, he just said, Peter said, I have no silver or gold, but what I have given you, in the name of Jesus, of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, stand up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and raised him up, and immediately his five feet and ankles were made strong. He used the name of Jesus, nothing else. Peter is just saying, in the name of Jesus, get up, stand up and walk. And he walked. See, this Jesus is the same yesterday, today and forever. 
See, the name of Jesus has the power to get a paralytic to get up and walk. The name of Jesus has the power to raise the dead. The name of Jesus has the power to deliver those who are possessed by demons. Unlimited power is there for the name of Jesus Christ. Unlimited power is there for the name of Jesus Christ. I just want to explain to you the great specialities of the name of Jesus. The first thing is that it's a name given by Heavenly Father. The name of Jesus is a name proposed and given by Jesus himself. That's why I have just explained to you Luke 131. Luke 131. What does the scripture say? And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son and you will name him Jesus. Abba Father gave the name of Jesus Christ. That means even before Jesus was born, this name was being given and appointed and assigned by Heavenly Father. And the first thing is a name given by Abba Father. And the second thing is that it's a name above all names. This is what I have already explained to you. This is Philippians chapter 2 verse 9. It's a name above all names. Let's repeat. Therefore, God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name so it's a name above every name so there is no name which is greater than jesus there is no name greater than jesus again in the gospel of john this is chapter 12 verse 28 we read 12 28 the scripture says father glorify your name then a voice came from heaven i have glorified it and I will glorify it again. Glorify. God the Father has glorified the name of Jesus. So that and the Father wanted every knee shall bend before the name of Jesus. So the first thing it's a name given by Abba Father. The second thing is a name above all names. Then the third thing is a name where demons get afraid. Demons get frightened at the name of Jesus. So do you find people have been possessed? There are people who have been afraid of demons. But we have to know, you just repeat the name of Jesus, then things will change. See, this is this is Luke 10, 17. The 70 return with joy saying, Lord, in your name, even the demons submit to us. In your name, demons submit. So in the name of Jesus, demons get surrendered and demons get submit themselves and again uh, verse 18 he said to them i watch satan falling from heaven like a flashlight flash of lightning so even in the name of jesus christ satan is getting surrendered they get submit themselves they submit themselves so it is very important to know that at the name of Jesus, there, there are so many instances where at the name of Jesus that demons are been getting surrendered. Even in the book of again, Acts of the Apostles, chapter 4 uh, from 4, we read chapter 4 from 4. But many of those who heard the word believed, and them numbered were 5,000. The next day, their rulers, elders, and scribes assembled in Jerusalem. When they had made the prisoners stand in their midst, they inquired, By what power or by what name you do this? See, this was a question. When the apostles were performing miracles, they came and asked, he, By what power or by what name you do this miracle? Then, Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, This important truth. This is verse 10. Let this be known to all of you and to all the people of Israel that this man is standing before you in good health by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. So it is in the name of Jesus, demons submit. 
every kind of forces in this world every authority in this world get submitted and get surrendered then the fourth thing that at the name of jesus is a name that opens the door of heaven that opens the door of heaven see in the gospel of john this is chapter 15 verse 16 we read 15 16 the scripture says see the father will give you the father will give you whatever you ask him in my name see that is why every prayer even in the holy eucharist all the prayers and every now and then we ask this through christ our lord we ask this ask whom ask abba father so holy eucharist is a prayer is a sacrifice offered to abba father in the name of jesus and we begin the service in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit that means the name itself has power it opens the moment the name of jesus is uttered the doors of heaven are wide open see even the prayer of saint faustina the divine mercy chaplet is what is the sum and substance of this prayer for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us abba father and on the whole world see we are asking to abba father in the name of jesus to have mercy and it happens again in the gospel of uh, john this is chapter 16 verse 23 16 23 we read on that day you will ask of you will ask nothing of me very truly i tell you if you ask anything of the father in my name he will give it to you that is why all the prayers in the holy eucharist is been ending with through christ our lord we make this prayer in the name of jesus christ and the, because it is biblical, this is highly scriptural. 